Hi, I'm Rafael from Sofa Support, and today I'll show you how to configure inter VLAN routing in Sofa's firewall using a method known as router on a stick. Before the configuration steps, I'll first outline the example environment used in this demonstration. Then I'll show you how to configure a new VLAN in Sophos Firewall, define the VLAN network objects, and finally, add a new firewall rule to allow communication. Before you begin, you'll need to configure your VLAN in Sophos Switch, refer to the link tech vid that outlines these steps in detail. In addition, the switch up link connected to Sophos Firewall must be configured as the trunk port which allows VLANs to pass through and reach its VLAN default gateway. This is the VLAN interface that needs to be configured on Sophos Firewall. Let's get started. I'll be configuring this example environment. Your specific scenario may differ, but the steps will be the same, no matter how many VLANs are present. Note that in Sophos Switch, access ports which connect end devices in a single VLAN are referred to as untagged ports. On the other hand, trunk ports which carry traffic for multiple VLANs are referred to as target ports. There are two devices here. PC1 is part of group 100 which resides in VLAN 100. PC2 is part of group 200 which resides in VLAN 200. Moving on to the sofa switch, untagged ports 2 to 4 are configured for VLAN 100. Meanwhile, untagged ports 5 to 7 are configured for VLAN 200. Port 8 is a tag port for both VLANs. Now let's move on to the configuration steps. In the Sophos Firewall Web Admin, configure the VLAN interface, go to Network, navigate to the Interfaces tab, click Add Interface, then add VLAN. In Name, enter VLAN 100, then select the specific interface you'll associate with this VLAN interface. In my case, it's port 6. The hardware field will autofill based on what's entered below. Next, choose the zone for the VLAN. Here, it's LAN. Then specify the VLAN ID, which is 100. In the IPv4 netmask field, enter the IP address and subnet mask you're assigning to this VLAN. In this case, it's 172.16.100.1 with subnet mask slash 24. Click Save. Now verify if VLAN 100 is shown in the Interfaces tab under the VLAN section. Next, repeat the same steps to add VLAN 200 with the respective settings. Once again, I'll navigate to the Interfaces tab and view the VLAN section to confirm both VLANs are in the list. Let's move on. Now, prepare the definition of VLAN networks that will be used to configure the firewall rules which allow VLAN communication on different VLANs. Go to System, Host and Services. Make sure you're in the IP Host tab and click Add. In Name, enter VLAN 100 Network, set IP version to IPv4 and type to Network. Enter the respective network address with subnet slash 24. Click Save. Then repeat the steps and enter the relevant details for VLAN 200. Click Save. Now, if I search for VLAN, I can confirm both IP hosts are now there. Finally, configure a firewall rule to allow VLAN communication. Note that when entering the source and destination network, you must use the VLAN network object and not the VLAN interface object. Under Protect, go to Rules and Policies, click Add Firewall Rule, then New Firewall Rule, enter an appropriate name for the rule, now configure the source settings. In Source Zone, add LAN. In Source Networks and Devices, remove any. Then add the VLAN 100 and VLAN 200 network objects. For the destination and services settings, the steps are similar. In destination zone, add LAN. In destination networks, remove any. Then add the VLAN 100 and VLAN 200 network objects again. 
services can be left as any. Finally, you can check the option to log firewall traffic which can be helpful if you need to troubleshoot. Once you've configured your firewall rules, communication between your VLANs should now be established. If you wish, you can run a ping test to confirm connectivity. I'll ping a host from VLAN 200 network and everything is working as expected. And that completes the configuration of inter-VLAN routing in Sophos Firewall. I hope you found this useful. Check out the documentation for this tech feed in the video description. For further assistance, view and post questions on community.sofos.com and go to techvids.sofos.com for more great videos like this one. Thanks for watching.